Greyhound News Network. This is Pope TV. And please stand for the Pledge of the Flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. And now for a moment of silence. Welcome to the Greyhound News Network. I'm Allie Glicker. And I'm Hannah Egan. And, and this, this is Pope, Pope TV. It's online elective registration time. Go to the registration page on the Pope website now and read the FAQ page to answer all your questions about registration. Review the course catalog so you can decide which electives to take. Elective number one is your top choice. Elective number five is an elective you are willing to take if you don't get your top choice. The link to register will be posted on your advisement teacher's CTLS page. Elective registration co closes March 3rd. Greyhound Nation, this Wednesday, March 1st during X-Block, come wrap up Black History Month with a celebration presentation. The event will take place in the Greyhound Theater during X-Block on Wednesday. We'll have a step demonstration from Phi Beta Sigma, a historically black fraternity and the owner of the first black owned gallery in Atlanta will be speaking. And we will have other performances. You don't want to miss this event. Wednesday, X-Block. Be there. Let's take a look at our Black History Month Spotlight video. As a NASA employee, Katherine Johnson was a mathematician whose calculations of orbital mechanics were critical to the success of the first American spaceflights. During her 33-year career at NASA, she earned a reputation for mastering complex manual calculations and helped pioneer the use of computers to perform the tasks. The Space Agency noted her historical role as one of the first African-American women to work as a NASA scientist. Johnson's work included calculating trajectories, launch windows, and emergency return paths for Project Mercury spaceflights, including those for astronauts Alan Shepard, the first American in space, and John Glenn, the first American in orbit, and rendezvous paths for the Apollo Lunar Module and Command Module on flights to the moon. Her calculations were also essential to the beginning of the Space Shuttle program, and she worked on plans for a mission to Mars. She was known as a human computer for her tremendous mathematical capability and ability to work with space trajectories without the technology that we have today. Pope Theater is presenting The Sound of Music as our spring musical. This fun, family-friendly musical will lift your spirits March 3rd, 4th, 10th, and 11th at 7 p.m. There's a special sing-along matinee at 2 on March 11th. Tickets online at popetheater.org. Friday morning biscuits are back. Come support FCCLA and the culinary department as they sell fresh, hot, steamy Chick-fil-A biscuits Friday morning for $4 on Main Street. Get them while they're hot, and thanks for the support. And now to the sports. This is Emily and Sianya in the morning and, and now the sports. sports. Congratulations to the basketball and wrestling teams on their great seasons. The girls finished up a great season playing in the first round of the state tournament over break. Congrats girls on a great year. The boys defeated Habersham 63-56 in the first round of the state playoffs before running into a tough team from Etowah last Saturday in the second round. The boys battled hard but fell to the Eagles in the end. This was another outstanding season for the boys, winning 20 games. Great job, boys and girls hoops teams. Congratulations to our wrestlers as well. Over the break, the wrestlers competed in the state championships down in Macon. Paul Childs placed fifth, and congratulations to Aiden Karpitsky, the 150-pound state champ. This was an incredible season for Aiden. He finished the season 32-0, undefeated state championship. Congratulations, and a job well done to the wrestling team. Our spring sports are killing it every day. Come out to support your fellow Greyhounds at a stadium, field, court, or golf course near you. Congratulations to the baseball team. The Hounds had an exciting break playing five games over the break. Let's go to Anthony with our baseball highlights. What's up Greyhounds? This is Anthony with your baseball report. Congratulations to the guys on their 5-0 record during the break with wins over number 6 ranked North Cobb Christian, Effingham County, Norcross, Kell, and North Atlanta. The Hounds improved their record to 6-1 and, and start region play tonight at Lassiter at 6 and tomorrow at the Jeff at 6. Come make the short trip and watch the party of fun and domination against the Trojans. Back to the girls in the studio. Good work, Anthony. The Soccer Hounds played a couple of matches over break. Let's check in with Kent for the soccer highlights. What's the word, Kent? 
What's up? This is Ken with your soccer report. Congratulations to the girls for their two wins over break, including an 8-0 win versus Sprayberry and a 7-0 win against Riverwood. Addie DeJoseph had five goals, which earned her player of the match for the Sprayberry game. Olivia O'Connor had a massive game at Riverwood with a hat trick and two assists. Addie DeJoseph and Carly Oobes also scored two goals each, and Giselle Aiken also had a goal. Olivia O'Connor and Giselle Aiken were the players of the match. The boys and girls are back in action Friday versus Johns Creek at the Hound Pound. Girls at 6, guys at 8. Be there and be loud. Back to the girls in the studio. Great work, Kent. Good luck to the tennis teams. The boys play at Alpharetta tonight and the girls are at home. The tennis teams are in action on Thursday as well as the girls at Johns Creek and the boys are at home. Good luck, tennis hounds. Congrats to the boys lacrosse team. The boys played in Florida over the break. Let's check in with Hannah for the lacrosse report. This is Hannah with the Lax Report. The boys had a great run in Florida over the break. They won 17-5 against Fleming Island and also won 11-7 against Nice. Their next game is tomorrow at Roswell. Be there. Great job, Lax Hounds. Good luck to the girls. They are playing at home Thursday at 6 against North Forsyth. That's all from me. Back to the studio. Thank you, Hannah. Congratulations to our boys golf team on their first tournament of the year last Saturday. Our guys played well in tough field. Congrats to Jordan for the Golden Club. And finally, let's go to William for our track and field report. It's William with your track and field report. The track and field team competed at the Roswell Swarm Invitational this past Saturday. They're off to an amazing start this early in the season. If you thought you've seen fast runners before, think again. Some of the top results from the meet include Gabby Key placed first in the long jump with her and Julia Acker second in pole vault placing in the Georgia top 10. Darby Lewandowski play, finished first in the triple jump, making the top 50 in the state. The 4x100 team placed first and Madeline Campbell, Discus, and Krista McNeil in the 200 meter dash finished second in their events. The girls won the overall meet. And Scott Basile in the pole vault and Carter Spohn in the 800 both placed in the Georgia top 25 and Ben Lee in the high jump, and Benny Burnman in the mile, and Chris Hayes in the 200 meter dash, placed in the Georgia top 50. The boys 4x200 and the 4x1600 teams both placed second overall. So to all the other teams out there, we have one thing to say, bring it on, be warned, these are athletes that are not there to mess around, and they're here to win, and if you get in their way, they will run you over faster than a freight train on a downhill slope. The Hounds are competing tomorrow at Lasseter. Good luck and keep on domination. Hashtag champions in training. Good work, William. That's it for the sports. Back, Back to you guys. guys. Thank you, guys. Good luck to the following students that are participating in the Orchestra Allstate this weekend in Athens. Liam Doherty, Mary Gilbert, Kevin Lee, and Eugen Lim. These students represent the best in the state. They will work with expert educators in music education and perform professional level music. Attention all creative greyhounds. The Paw Print Pope's Literary Magazine wants you to submit your best poetry, essays, scripts, and fiction. But we aren't talking about just writing. We have a blog and we want to publish your music, monologue performances, and more. And for our visual artists, we haven't forgotten about you. We want to publish your high quality photography, drawings, paintings, and more. Scan the QR code here or find one of our informational posters around the school to find out how to submit. Be a published author or artist. Submit to the paw print. FCA will have a meeting this Friday at 745 in the Greyhound Theater. Come and enjoy fun, fellowship, a wonderful speaker, and breakfast. Did you know that the Greyhound News Network is always online for your viewing at www.greyhoundnews.net? Log in from your phone or at home 24-7. We are the GNN. Thank you for watching the Greyhound News Network. Have, have a great, great day, Greyhounds. Greyhounds.